Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through an example of how to graph a line in slope-intercept form. So if you just need a quick review, this should be helpful. We have slope-intercept form right here. Y equals mx plus b, with m being the slope and b being the y-intercept. Remember, slope measures the steepness of a line, and the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. The slope and y-intercept give us all the information we need to graph a line. Let's jump into our example where we have y equals 2x plus 3. So we need to graph this line. Our slope is 2. So the slope equals 2. And then our y-intercept is 3. So the y-intercept equals 3. Now with our slope being a whole number here, I'm going to write it in fractional form because remember, slope equals rise over run. And writing this in fractional form will make our rise and run more clear. All we need to do here is put two over one, and now we are in fractional form. So two is the rise, and one is the run. Now we graph, and we start with the y-intercept, which is three. So again, when graphing, we start with the y-intercept, and that's because we know exactly where that point is. Then we use the slope to go from there. We need to plot a point at three on the y-axis, so at zero, three. That's right here, and that's our y-intercept. Now we go from here using our slope, which is two, or two over one. So rise of two, positive two. So we go up two units, and then a run of one, a positive one. So we go to the right one unit. So up two and over one. And that's our second point on the line. Now we can use that slope to plot as many points as we would like. But once we have two, we can draw our line through the two points. And we are done. Our line is graphed. Now that was just one quick example. So if you need more examples or help, check the description for a link to another video where we go through other examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.